on behalf of the board of management, management and staff of Skullberg on Small Blarney, I'm delighted to welcome you all to the virtual open night for prospective students for the 22-23 school year. The school is set up under board of management. We are a co-educational school. We have Catholic ethos and we have an open entrance policy so therefore we do not create any conditions and anyone coming to the school only based on their application form. At present we have 888 students in Skullbrook and Small and in 2022 we will be giving places to 168 first year students. The first year allocation is based on the following criteria. The first criteria is brothers and sisters of current or former students. The second criteria is students residing in the parishes of Parish of Blarney Whitechurch. The third criteria is students residing in the parishes of Grenach, Dunamore, Inniscarra, Cloheen and Kelly Pike. Following that we have all other applicants and the last criteria is for late applicants, that's anyone from the four categories above that apply after the date and the closing date for these applications, this is an important date, is Friday the 22nd of October 2021. If there is an excess of students applying for first year places as we have now had for the last number of years, then those in the excess category are put into a lottery and places will be allocated within that category for the excess students. Only students from that category will be included in the lottery. We will have six mixed ability classes in first year. There's a maximum of 28 students per class. They will all do common courses and they will all have common assessment. We're very keen on that, so we give everyone the same opportunity when they arrive in the first year level. We, as we say, we start them on a blank canvas and we give all equal opportunity. So then based on how they participate and how they proceed through year one, then we will be monitoring them quite carefully. Or to get all new students welcomed into the system, we have a fairly large pastoral care team looking after them. For first years coming in, we have our primary school to secondary school coordinator. That's uh, Miss Lynch, who will travel out to the national schools before the end of this year and will speak to the teachers and to the students who are requesting a place in the school and will get an update on all their needs etc. Following on that then, each class in first year has a class tutor who is basically the, the mammy or daddy of the class who looks after all the needs of the class, provides locker numbers, provides seating arrangements etc. But as well as that then we have student mentors who look after the students uh, because some new students coming in might like to talk to more senior students when they're asking questions. Over that then we have a year head in each of our six year groups who takes overall charge of that year group and deals with any issues that may turn up throughout the year. Then if it gets beyond that we have two deputy principals who are Mr. Dodd and Miss Ford and finally then the principal which is me, Patrick Sheehan uh, will deal with any issues and we all work with open door policy so therefore we are accessible at all times. Students can also benefit from the specialist skills of the guidance counselling office and the learning support departments. All the students come in, all students will complete a CAT 4 testing. It's a cognitive ability test 4. It will be done in August next year and based on the results of that, students are allocated 
to their first year classes. Testing is a system basically that will measure the ability of the student. We will not have any entrance tests in Irish, English or Maths. We may have some of those once you start in September. With regards your placement will be based on the CAT 4 testing. As well as using the CAT 4 testing, we will also use the NGRT test and the STIN tests that are provided by the STIN reports that are provided by the national schools and these will all be worked on so that we can decide where students are to be allocated. Based on our CAT testing, we also have a monitoring system which we in our own terminology called the ESNC system, a system that has been highly commended by our last departmental inspection. That is a system where all students, when they come in at first year level, are banded from one to five. That's based on their capabilities. Then st teachers monitor those because they now have information to tell them at what level a student can be working at. And it also helps them to provide differentiation in the classroom. Twice a year, student teachers report on them, and if a student is doing okay, they put in that satisfaction, which is the S. If st students are working above the band they are on, they are given an E, but then if their students are not working up to the level they should be at, they are given a C. That is reported up into the uh, SEN department and then the SEN department will investigate to see why students aren't able to keep up at the level that they came in at, at the educational level that they came in at. We've had excellent results in both our Leaving Cert and our Junior Cert over the past number of years. Because of the fantastic results, our students have received numerous scholarships at total level. We've got excellent WSE and subject reports. And if you wish to look at those, you can go into education.ie, look for reports, and all our previous uh, inspection reports will come up. Outside of our teaching and learning, which is very important for all the students coming through the system, we also realise the students need to be in a happy environment. They need to be in a lot of, involved in many other areas where they might get great benefit from, where they enjoy doing it, where they have much better contact with their teachers, and that then comes back into the classroom. In order to facilitate that, we have a huge area of extracurricular activities. Those extracurricular activities are back up and running again. So for the sporting area, first of all, for those that are involved in sport area, for all categories, we have football, hurling, soccer, rugby, basketball, athletics, golf, and we even have an equestrian team. Outside of that, the other areas of extracurricular activities we would have, we have Lego and Robotics, we have the VEX IQ, Green Schools, Amber Flag, Reading Club, Kushta Nagailga, Maths Club, Debating Teams. We do music every two years, so we have a musical, Goshka Awards, the Student Council is set up each year, lunch STEM activities, DC Mon, Public Speaking, Baking Club, Young Scientists, and a Digital Media Club. There's a whole range of activity there for all students to get involved in. All first years generally go to Ballet Hass for their PE outing at first year level and towards the end of first year they also do a, a geography trip to some particular geography location. I know in the last year or so from the last years they were out they went to Ardmore County Waterford. In second and third year we have our CSB outing and we also have a history outing for students in those years. In transition year, they go to Kalash de Ishka and they also do a PE outing later in the year. 
the fifth year if travel abroad opens up it's possible we may go on another farm trip as soon as it's safe to do so or else we may stay local and go to some venue uh, in Ireland and finally for our six years the only outings they get is to the study hall and to the exam halls I'm afraid finally I suppose it, I should be mentioning to you about the development of our new school which if anyone in the area are well aware is now in the building stages out of the back at the moment the foundations are practically completed and the walls are now being put up we are waiting with bated breaths and with great excitement for that new school to be provided it is supposed to be completed and I think it will be completed by the 1st of April 2023 I know that the builders are working towards that time and I think they're ahead of schedule at the moment. We're really looking forward to it because the facilities will be much greater, we'll have far more space in the area and as well as that of course which is of huge importance we will be also opening up an SEN unit in that new school. But before that happens we are very much looking forward to eating you and hopefully we will do so over the months ahead but at the moment we are doing online applications so the online application will be up on the website which is smgsblarney.ie that will be live on the 1st of October and it is very important when you make that in application you will get an email back to tell you that it is completed if you do not get that email back it means you haven't fully completed the application if you're unsure of how that works please email the school at info at smgsplanet.ie and say you'll have difficulty with the online uh, application and we will help you from our side so we look forward to seeing all your applications coming in after the 1st of October but please remember they must be all completed and in by the 22nd of October uh, we will then be back to you by the 5th of November we will be advising you if you've got a place or not or if you're on a waiting list and that waiting list will be pulled out by in the presence of the chairman of the board of management also the chairman of the parents association that will be on the fifth you will be asked then to reply to say whether you are accepting the place or not and that date will be a week later thank you very much for your time and attention and we look forward to seeing you in the next year thank you